Hello guys, this is Jack from Fox Tech. Just imagine that when you want to do the survey with drones with the UAV, and just imagine that the weather is quite hot, it's over 40 C or it's very cold, it's below like 10 C below zero. Well, what you have to do is just want to hide yourself in a very cozy room or cozy car with, with the air conditioning on, right? So, but uh, normally you just uh, need to hold something like this and just uh, see the plane there and it's very, very uncomfortable. Well, just imagine that we want to do some professional job and uh, still holding remote control or similar like uh, you want to stay outside, it makes things not so beautiful. Okay, now I have something to make your dream true and this is the D04. The D04 is actually a pair of data link which has one serial port and two SBUS. So that makes it possible to use the data link and we can get the data from the UAV, we can send things outside and then we can send things upward to the drone and then we can also use the up to 32 channels controls either from one of this radio or either from this radio. Actually, you can use two radios at the same time. Let me show you some detail. Well, actually, the D04 works in pairs and it's quite compatible with our current uh, RB20 system. And the, But the, the D04 only has a channel, only has a frequency of 900 megahertz. So it has the micro hard chip built inside, the P900. Well, so it can go quite a long range. Okay, just to see here. Actually, we just used a SMA antenna for demonstration, but uh, below this one is a BNC connector. So you can connect directly to the bigger antennas with the bigger output and the bigger gain. And uh, you can use just like uh, something like um, glass fiber, very long antenna, very high gain up to 10 dBi. And or you can just attach this one to a patch antenna and also possible to use this one with a patch antenna, directional antenna and a tracking antenna base. So you antenna will always point to the point with the drone and so you can get a range that's much much better than before maybe three times maybe five times so the maximum range you can achieve with the D04 the 900 megahertz version and also a directional antenna is up to 60 kilometers well this is not my test data it's a direct test data from the P900 module well to make things easier, the D04 also has two Wi-Fi antennas and also a built-in Bluetooth. Well, you can just put it outside maybe 20 meters from your car, from your room, and it can still receive the Wi-Fi signal, then you can still receive the data from the plane, from the UAV. Well, here you can see, here is a power supply port, and then a set port, and a USB, port in case you want to directly use the USB to link with your laptop or with your cell phone. And here is some uh, indication LEDs and a uh, button. And once I hit it, you can see it's a red LED lights up and uh, it has the built-in battery for over 8 hours operational time. And if you want to turn it on just like this, short and long. So it turns on like this. So you just can see here we have the battery level indication right here and also here is something that indicates the connection quality from the transmitter and also to the receiver. Okay, let me show you some receiver detail. The detail is like uh, this is just compatible with our RB20 900 uh, megahertz version. Well, uh, the difference is it has two SBUS output, two SBUS output if you see detail here. Well, also a Siri output it is based on the TTL and uh, you can see it's uh, directly connected to the teleport on the PSOC. It's uh, just like a Mavelink connection between this uh, receiver and the flight control so we can use the uh, data out and data input directly in this way. So in this case you have one SBUS directly connected to the SBUS in 
on the Pixel, and also you can use the other SBUS out to control your gimbal or other kinds of equipment. So with the two 16 channel radio, you can uh, at most have 32 channels of controlling. So it's quite enough to control very, very complicated drones. Okay, so also there are two, you can see here, we have two receivers. Two receiver, Kelsta D04 is also turned on and you can see the receivers are also on with the power input directly from the D04. We have two SBUS input, so we can use the SBUS out from the two receivers directly. And then we can use a two similar radio like this to control the drones, to control your UAVs with the maximum 32 control channels. Well, the best thing is you just can put everything outside and uh, just uh, yourself stay in the cozy room, stay in the cozy car and uh, control the drones just like a professional. Okay, so then I'm going to show you how to use the Wi-Fi to connect the everything with the uh, mission planner, with the uh, Pixel to the mission planner so we can see how the channels are going to move and uh, how we can uh, how fast we can receive data and send data to the flight controllers so okay let's just see the detail of the D04 okay guys let's see we have everything already arranged and we have the two radio receivers connected to the D04 and you can see uh, they connect the SBUS output both of the radio receivers have the SBUS output we connect directly to the uh, button port of the D04 so we have the SBUS out and then we here uh, just on the plain side we have the cube the Pixar cube no one we have the teleport connected to the UART port on the R20 receiver. Well, let's see both the RXD and the TXD LED is flashing, meaning it has the data input and output at the same time. And also power works great. And then we can have, uh, just have one channel of SBUS connected to the uh, Pixar RC in. So later I'm going to use my laptop to connect to the D04 by Wi-Fi. So, uh, well, the first thing you have to do is to find the D04 Wi-Fi signal. Well, it's already here, the D04 radio. Okay, I already connected. But since it has no internet, you may see a yellow icon here. It's not possible to connect to the internet. But now you can use the TCP on the here, let's see, the TCP, okay, TCP here, I'll use the baud rate of 115200. And what uh, you have to do before connect the R20 and the Pixel 2.1 is just to make sure the output, the data transmission, the data baud rate, the data transmission baud rate are the same. You can choose either the 57600 or the 115200. They are both okay. And you can choose also choose the uh, suitable baud rate here. It's the 115200. And then you connect. And here you should input a host name or IP. It's 192.168.6.1. And then it tells you to enter the remote port. It's 888. Nine, nine. Okay, connect. So you can see we have uh, the data rating right here, parameter rating. Uh, if I move my, yeah, you can see if I move my uh, flight controllers, you can see the uh, attitude changing inside. Okay. So we are going to see if we have the SBUS input already and just go to the radio calibration. Well, um, I don't know which one I'm connecting here, so I'm just going to try. Okay, I have the T20 radio connected uh, here. So it's using the SBUS, I suppose it's the SBUS 2. 
directly inside of the D04 as it is using the data radio to transmit the signal to the R20 and here we have the S bus out directly to the flight controllers. If I move the sticks, you can see I move the switches. You can see here we have the perfect 12 channel input. Okay, so I'm going to change uh, the S bus out from the two to one. So it's very simple to change to here. Then I can use my VA16 radio to control the S bus. Well, this is the only a demonstration because we don't have a gimbal and a camera with the S bus input. But if you had, you can just use one S bus to the flight controllers and the other one to the gimbal. So you can control the gimbal and your drone at the same time. It's very easy, right? So you can see here we have the full control, everything, 16 channel plus 12 channel. This is a combination of 28 channels. Well, this can solve a lot of problems and uh, you won't be able to worry about the channel, not too many channels on the plane and now you have 28 channels. That's quite enough for everything. Okay, now this is a brief introduction about the D04 and the R20 combo and now we sell them in pairs. So we just uh, uh, want you to have one of these so you can have up to 32 channels to control your drones and the one zero port for data transmission. Well, the core inside of this and this one is the MicroHard P900 uh, module. So it can give you uh, for maximum range is up to 50 km or the 60 km is quite long range and it can help you to finish all kinds of jobs necessary. Okay, so hope you like this one and if you like the D04 and the R20 receiver, you can find them directly on our website which is the foxtechfpv.com and you can also find our Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and even the LinkedIn quite interesting and I hope you like them and please subscribe us. Thank you and this is Jack from Foxtech and have a nice day and see you in next video.